Come and join us in the kitchen because you are going to love this. Now, if pasta doesn't deserve a national holiday, I'm not sure anything else in the world <laughs> does. And our first guest is here to help us celebrate National Pasta Day by preparing his delicious rigatoni with zucchini sauce. Please welcome back to our home the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Nick Stellino. We are so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. Please, don't, don't exhort yourself. I do deserve it. I would like to dabble, but just once around the time. I love you, but you do. And you do. You absolutely do. And joining Cam at the counter is LZ, Larissa, you made it over here, Hello. and Ken. They heard you were coming, and they wanted your pasta, just like everybody else. So this is a recipe that's very near and dear to your heart, because yes, it it's a twist on your mother's classic, isn't it? Well, as we become uh, more mature in our age, we look back at all the things that mom taught us. But what I'm about to do is something that my mom would not approve of. Uh -oh. Let me give a bit of background what's happening. In the pan, what we have is uh, zucchini that's been uh, uh, squared out okay. and really browned in extra virgin olive oil. At this point, we add the flavor. This flavor is not part of the original recipe. This is brown sugar. I just take a, a tiny little I'm bit sorry. of... I'm sorry. Come again? Yeah, brown, brown sugar. sugar wow. in an Italian... I am Pasta? A southern, I'm a southern Italian. <laughs> okay. Down south, where I do a lot of uh, work with the barbecue competitions and such. Down south I'm, in America. In the United okay. States. <laughs> I've learned the usage of brown sugar. Brown sugar is unrefined uh, sugar. It's not like the white sugar. It has molasses in it. This pinch of it, combined with all the other ingredients, will create what we refer to as the yin and yang. Okay. Uh, what it does have is the molasses in this cooking process will break down. And as we mix it together with the other ingredient, and here is the other verse of the yin and yang, salt. Okay. Uh, salt and brown sugar. Together. And, uh, an honest fight that yields an astonishing return of flavor. A little bit of pepper. You know, the way you're describing yeah. this is amazing. I know. I just, what I, 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 I would just sit and listen to you speak, even if you weren't cooking. Well, you should see, the first time I came to the United States where I could not speak English, I had this whole thing memorized for the people <laughs> of the immigration. And I repeated it to myself inside my head all throughout. The moment they let us out the plane, there was a gentleman that I think was part of the maintenance crew that was just opening the door. And I went to the guy because he basically had a uniform. Buongiorno. My name is Nick Stellino. <laughs> I think this poor guy, they had to stand there and listen to him. He said, I'm just trying to unload the bag, sir. <laughs> oh, gosh, so. that is so funny. Okay, so now, now you've added some garlic the as well? Pa the, no, no, the garlic we're going to hold in just a moment. Okay. But the true power of the sauce is based on the fresh ingredients. Okay. Don't do this with dry ingredients. You will be betraying yourself. And we go with parsley. Okay. Next to the parsley, we go with a little bit of mint. Oh, I love and mint. And next to the yeah. mint, so we go with a little bit of basil. I wonder if you notice this technique that I'm deploying so astutely, which is the throw of the basil. I, 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 I yeah, honestly ricochet. noticed that. I, would, I like that <laughs> little <laughs> shotgun movement. Yeah, that listen, that's why he's... Watching him do it. Watch, that's why watch, he's watch this with the pepper. See? You see this? Yeah. yeah. It means absolutely nothing, okay. but it looks beautiful. All right, very good, very good. Having said so, well, listen. 25 years later, it works. Public yeah. television has trained me well. Here we are now with the most important addition. This is the garlic. And I usually cut the garlic thick, but for this case, it has to be chopped finely. Why? Okay. We want to bring the aroma into this, and the aroma of all the fresh spices right now that are mixing with the salt, and mixing with the sugar, are combining their own base to all of this. But still, okay. we are not there, in spite of the fact that we are quite a bit. I'm using chicken stock, okay. but in the old days, my mom used to use the pasta water, which we cooked the pasta, which right. is thick. Exactly. Starch. And it has a plenty of starch, and one of the beautiful things is that the starch, beside thickening the sauce, it also picks up the flavor of everything that you have in here. Right. But now I'm a wealthy man, and I can use chicken <laughs> stock. <And here laughs> Look at you now. Look at you now. Oh you put on a show with I mean, so good. I love this. Yeah, That's you should tell that to my mama. <laughs> she is now past, but we used to be a couple in the kitchen always arguing to the recipe Aww. because she says, and that, by the way, when my mom, when I came to America and I started eating American food, I wrote to my mom and said, Mama, America Aww. is beautiful. I love it. Aww. Mama mia, they fry stuff. They only have barbecue, hot dogs, and the pasta. They overcooked it. And my mother said, don't worry about it. I'm going to write a few recipes. I'll send it to you. And she wrote it to me in a letter. And the recipes basically was <laughs> a long <laughs> episode of my mother talking. She says, when you make the tomato sauce, just add a pinch of salt. And when I say a pinch, I want you to think of my fingers. Because Angie <laughs> China, she's fat. She's big. Every time she puts the salt, you know, my head explodes. And this is my mother. Oh, my God. Giving no, me a lesson. But, but isn't that the oh truth? God. They always oh, say so a, a pinch of this, a pinch of that. And you say, well, you can't write a cookbook with a pinch. I need to know. Well, that's, uh, thank you for saying that. Yeah. One of the things that I do on my show all the time is says, why do we do this? If people don't understand why, all that you have is a written recipe. You do not own it. Life is beautiful where you own the moments that come mm. into your life. Yeah. And pasta, right. as far as I'm concerned, is one of these moments when even 
average guys like me can look handsome. The fact that I'm sucking it in right now, I'm holding it in. I have dark color, so you well, can see the size of my tummy. Oh, That's a whole different thing. No, 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 wait. This oh. is because we have to let it reduce. We have to let it reduce, right? Yes, ma'am. I don't want you to ruin your beautiful pasta sauce. So this is reduced for how long? Uh, one, I, I added a lot more stock in this one. You okay. want to reduce it for about five minutes. The total uh, timing of this is 10 to 15 minutes all the time, depending on how quickly and how you cook. Okay. The important, though, that we need to share with others. We have slowly undercooked the pasta. We're using the pasta al dente. And yes. by slightly undercooking it, we'll finish the cooking now here into the spot. Okay. And it, we're using rigatoni, but could we use another sort of you pasta? You can use any cut. I would pro propose that whatever cut you use is a shortcut pasta. Penne, penne rigate, mustaccioli. Uh, those are the kind of cuts that are easy to grab. With, by the way, for those of you that I, don't speak Italian, I mean, if you're dating still, listen, it helps a lot. I, I just, I mean, I just you literally... can go to a lady and you can tell her, Signorina, lei è bellissima. <laughs> you see how it works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then start yeah. rattling off some pastas. <laughs> this man understands. There you go. We're going to go on. Okay. No. Spaghetti. Pasta. Then, but wait, it could be done, <laughs> but why? When you okay. could always add some butter. There you go. Right, mm. Nick? Yes, the butter has to be added, and we're using softened butter, unsalted, I would okay. propose. And all that we're doing this is to use it basically to just stick in the sauce as the sauce is nice and hot, and there should be some cheese in there. Now, this traditionally goes with Romano cheese, but if you come to my house, you're going to have it with uh, 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 Parmigiano cheese. Mm. People yes. say mm. that one is. Okay. It was a why, because my wife hates Romano, and I've been married now for over 35 years, and in 35 years, I don't get to have Romano, except when she goes out to dinner with her yeah. friends, and then I cook for myself, and then I have Romano. So today, are we using Romano? Yes, we are. Yeah. 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 Oh, unless you guys are punking me in my wife. She's yeah. here. Yeah. She's no, here she's somewhere. Not. Okay, good. Yeah. You're good. Because I told her, honey, I'm just going out for a quick thing. I'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, okay, I cannot wait to try no, this. The cheese, oh, the cheese goes speak. inside too? Yeah, yeah, inside. Okay, I thought the cheese becomes a bite. But, but there well. it is. Listening to you speak, uh, I, it's no surprise that the name of your uh, show, your Emmy nominated show, by the way, Storyteller in the Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the new season premieres uh, this coming spring. It's going to mark 25 years that you've wow. been on public television. Good for you. No yeah. surprise, you are awesome. Awesome. Yeah. But tell us, I mean, you, you, you mentioned that how your mom uh, helped to influence this dish, but also she really inspired this new season of your show. Tell us about that. Well, one of the significant actions that takes place in the life of all of us is that as we become mature, we come to realize the value that uh, the youth that we had and the teachings that we got from our parents comes into play. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of times, my mom was bothersome to me. Don't do this, don't do that. <laughs> right. uh, change this, change that. Even in the way she would teach me those things, and then you start to realize that there is a language, there is a, an ability to paint a picture, this beautiful line in the middle that has this beauty of life that concentrates itself and resolves itself into the flavors of the dishes that you cook. It is not just about a cookbook. It's not about a TV show. What is your pasta going to say about yourself? The way you smile, the way you talk, the way it makes you oh. feel. And every time that you make something for yourself as just the two of you at home, or if it's for a group of people, this pasta has to tell your story. And I give you the recipe on how to do it, but the way I will make it will taste different from the pasta that she makes or the pasta yep, that she 100%. makes or he makes or he makes or you make. There is our soul that goes in it. And what I want you to do is to find that ability wow. to deploy it in such a fashion. Pasta is poetry, first and foremost. You are poetry, my no. friend. You are. Uh, You're yes. poetry. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh my wow, God! Thank you so much for all I feel so honored to have had you here. Really, wow. you are we phenomenal. You and we also love this to help everyone at home celebrate <laughs> National Pasta Day. Nick is offering a free download of his latest cookbook. Mm. I mean, oh, wow. it just keeps getting better and better. And it everybody. comes with all the videos, and it will play in every one of your operating systems because I am that kind of a guy. Uh, <laughs>